Hello and welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have the pleasure of having with us Rob Wassinger from Benchmark Carpet Cleaning and Restoration in Virginia Beach. How are you doing, Rob? Yes, sir. Good to be here. Thank you for inviting uh, me. I, I know you're a busy guy and, and, and you, you, uh, I, I see you all over town, so I know you travel a lot around here. We do. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of work. Uh, give us an overview of Benchmark. Tell us what you all do. Uh, basically, Benchmark, uh, commercial residential carpet cleaning, tile cleaning company, and uh, cleaning. water restoration, so flood damage, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, let's talk about uh, carpet cleaning. Sure. Okay. Uh, carpet residential from one room to, um, you know, 10,000 square foot. So commercial and residential. Yeah, commercial, residential, everything from uh, small buildings. We've done large buildings, over 100,000 square foot. Wow. We've got crews that uh, take their time and do good quality work in all aspects. From one room to 100,000 square foot, you're going to get the same quality top to bottom. Okay, and how long have you all been around? Uh, this business has been here for uh, about 10 years. 10 years, okay, all right, good. Uh, well, you passed the danger zone. They say it's five. It's the danger zone. It is. <laughs> well, it's good. It is. You must be doing a lot of things right if you're in your ten years. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a lot of carpet cleaning places around. There is. Yeah. Uh, and so, what what sets you apart? Would you say? Well, th th what separates this is I picked the uh, benchmark name out for a reason. It's a high standard of clean. I call it a new standard of clean. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, hard work. It takes hard work to clean someone's house uh, from top to bottom. And we pay attention to detail. Uh, my employees and I um, are considerate of the, the customer. We walk through, we see exactly what their needs are, we explain how we do it, and our job is to do it to their expectations and even higher than that, to make sure that it's a benchmark standard, not just a regular standard. Okay, all right, and um, the, the, the other service you mentioned was tile? Yes, sir, uh, okay. we clean uh, tile, uh, again, uh, from uh, kitchens, uh, bathrooms, showers, uh, Great service. Our job is to get it to back almost as brand new as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and the problem with today's tile, most of the tile in the last 10 years was not sealed at the time of uh, insulation. Oh, really? So the, the grout gets dirty, you know, yeah. and, and uh, they're trying the best they can with the shark to get it clean. What we do, we come and put a solution down, uh, basically do a, a pressure wash. It goes up out of the grout into the truck. It's dry that day, and uh, we can also seal the tile. And that way, it's easy for them to maintain. Our job is to make it simple for the customer, make it best as possible. Okay. Now, now when you do like carpet cleaning, is that steam cleaning? We use uh, truck mount cleaning. We oh. also do dry cleaning. Uh, so in the high rises, we do uh, uh, rotary capsulation. It's mm -hmm. a great process. It's dry in 20 minutes. Usually high rises don't get that dirty as far as like going in and out from the, the beach homes or people in and out of the house. Right. Um, usually don't have a lot of dogs tracking in and out, but uh, we have different opportunities to clean carpet. Uh, usually it's, it's truck mount though, but we have other applications that we also use. Okay. Now, I know when we were talking before this, you mentioned to me that you also do oriental rugs. Is that a different process than a regular carpet? Yes, because most of the uh, carpet uh, on uh, rugs like that are, uh, could be silk wool and if you know about wool when you when you clean that it leaves a, a huge odor because it's basically cattle uh, we pick that up at the customer's house we deliver to the shop we have an inline facility there in our implant and we take care of that dry it go through an inspection process maybe reclean it dry it again and deliver it back to the customer oh wow Okay, so that isn't done at their home. That, no, it is no, not. No. And, uh, and they know. wouldn't want it to be done at their home. You really house. don't, yes. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Uh, all right, so and then now, now water restoration, that's a whole it, it, It's a whole different animal. side of the business. Uh, anything from a water heater that breaks someone's house uh, is a class one water loss. Uh, just needs to be mitigated as soon as possible. Uh, the customer realize, needs to realize that their obligation is to mitigate it as soon as possible. Even if they call the insurance company and the adjuster might not be out there for a couple of days, they are liable to mitigate it as soon as possible. We're a certified company. We can go out there and take care of that. We work with all the insurance companies. We are A-rated with several in this area, and we also work out of state. We also have a legal team on staff for their concerns. We have public adjusters, and our job is to protect them as a customer, protect their property, and we deal with the insurance company. Okay, so when you do water restoration, give me an example. For an example, uh, a customer comes home and there's, or they wake up and in the middle of the night and they got water around the bed from a toilet overflow, a water heater, or it's coming through the ceiling, they get home and there's no ceiling in the house. Those are stuff that we deal with and uh, we go in there, stop the water loss, 
uh, make it a safe area for the customer. Let them know we're going to take care of this and get the, the water out as quickly as possible, as safe as possible, protect their content. Uh, we have machinery, I have a whole warehouse full of equipment. We have tractor trailers to be able to deliver equipment as needed, uh, dehumidifiers, fans, uh, content manipulation, all that stuff to help the customer out and I walk them through the process. And uh, all my employees are uh, certified in restoration. So no matter who goes out there, we know what we're doing. Every job has a booklet. And from top to bottom, um, it explains exactly what we do. It's documented for the insurance company and why we did it, how we did it, and it's dry to industry standards when we're done. Okay, and now, uh, do you handle mold? We do. Um, mold is something that um, t uh, takes up to three days to start growing on a water loss. Some people don't uh, realize that for a long time. Um, and the key is, mold is not covered by your insurance company at all, and it can be very expensive. That's why it's very important to mitigate the water as soon as you're aware, because when you get in the mold, it creates problems. Just because you wipe the mold off off the wall doesn't mean you're safe. Bleach does not kill the spores that's already in the air. Mm -hmm. Mold travels. We, get, we need to mitigate that as soon as possible, and we do air testing. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a situation where you're, you might be breathing something, you're not really sure, your doctor says, hey, get an air test, I'm certified to go out there, do the air sample for you, ship it to my laboratory in Richmond, which is at VCU. You, um, usually three to five days we get that back. You get a uh, legal document that you can take to your doctor and you can see exactly what's in the air, what kind of spores are in there. And if there's a different mold in the house than outside, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Even if you have the good mold on the outside and it's a higher, <laughs> uh, it's a higher <laughs> content on the inside, that could also cause respiratory problems. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not a doctor, I sample it, we give you documentation and your doctor will tell you what it's doing to your health. Okay, all right, it was very interesting. All right, so that's, that's, that led me into air testing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so uh, that's something that someone could call if they think they have a problem? Yes, um, okay. and I'll give you an example. Okay. An uh, office building, lady saw some mold on the wall complaining. She's very athletic, good runner. Um, corporate office called me in, said, hey, we've got a situation here. What do you think? I did a visual inspection. I said, I see some mold on the wall, but I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but that should be taken care of. They said, uh, go ahead and do the air test. So we air tested her room, outside, the whole building, outside. I mean, just a big, big test. Well, the test came back. And um, the lady that did the test for us up in Richmond was on the conference call. We're in a big oval room. And uh, everything looked pretty good throughout the test. And then all of a sudden she goes, oh. And the CEO goes, I don't like that. What's O me? She goes, if you look on the chart number six there, the dander count is way high. Basically, she was getting sick on her own dead skin cells. It wasn't mold. The, the, the place was not being cleaned properly. Hmm. So that's a situation where we thought it was a mold problem. It wasn't, it was dead skin cells. Hmm. Okay. So that's not, not every situation's bad, but uh, it uh, is what it is. All right, and you also do air duct cleaning. We do. Um, air duct cleaning, most houses don't really get it clean because they don't see it. They mm -hmm. don't think they see it. Right. Um, in the past situation, we pulled out Coke bottles, sippy cups, dog food, cat food. And just last month, we were in Norfolk and pulled out a 1957 newspaper out of the HVAC system. Hmm. Perfectly intact. <laughs> Everything there. So you just never know what you're going to get. But the bottom line is, as soon as we clean their carpet, air ducts, tile, their environment is a lot better. Okay. All right, so now let's just talk about your business. You know, I, I've, I've heard you speak, and I know you're really passionate about what you do and mm -hmm. how you do it and, and all. Um, and, and you mentioned a bit about the carpeting of why you. You, mm -hmm. know, why, you know, can you give me a little bit of the philosophy of your, of your company and your business? Bottom philosophy? line is, is that carpet cleaning is really a luxury for people because it's an expense. Our job is to make it convenient and easy. And when you clean the carpet, it really changes the environment of the house. It's basically a filter in there. And when it's clean, it's pure, and it gives the customer a peace of mind. Uh, my goal as an owner is to give the same hard dedication and work for either that one room or the whole house. Um, a small house to a large house. The quality is actually the same. And I've set uh, processes and procedures in my company for every employee that works for me to work hard, do everything you possibly can, do a walkthrough, and just go above and beyond. Document what you do, and do what you document, period. And that's really how I lead my company. 
Right. If uh, uh, let me just ask you, if if you were going, if someone was going to go into business, what are three things that you would recommend them to take a look at if they're considering opening a business, any kind of business? But what are the three things that you think they ought to think about? People, people reflect you. So you need good people that are hard workers, dedication, and see your vision. Process, you need a process in place to be consistent. If you are consistent from top to bottom and it's throughout the company, you're not gonna have problems. You're not gonna have the headaches. You're gonna get a great job. With my company, no matter if I'm out there or not or what city we're in, my name is on every single job. I'm in this community a lot. I do a lot of stuff with kids, uh, single parent moms that uh, need to get their kid outside. I lead activities through Tidewater Striders and the Endurance Project. Give back to the community, okay? Um, and third is um, quality. Do a great job. Do the best that you can and, uh, and have pride in what you do and you will be successful. And you gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. Well, I can't argue with any of that. <laughs> so that's good. That's kind of what you were saying at the at the speech that I heard you give. So uh, a good speaker too, by the way. I don't know if you do, if you do speeches around town, but you're pretty good. Uh, all right. So is is there anything that I left out that I that we didn't touch on? No. It's just that uh, I'm a strong family man, and um, and I believe that society today with with the split uh, parents and relationships. I'm in one, you know, for many years ago, um, and I try to be the best father I can to my boys. And uh, in my neighborhood, I see split families, and my goal is to, when the kids are outside, encourage them, be there for them, and um, to make everybody's life a little better. Mm -hmm. Just smile and say hello. Do something. Be active. Just to give back. Okay, well, that's great advice we can all take. So, <laughs> okay, well, if you have a need for a carpet or a tile uh, uh, or water restoration or any of those uh, services that we've talked about. Uh, the contact information for Benchmark is at the end of this video, and it's also on the bottom of this page. And uh, I'm sure that uh, they can uh, give you a, um, uh, an appointment to come out and talk Abs with you. Absolutely. Uh, just give them a call, and I'm sure they'll make it really simple. Uh, so I really appreciate you coming in no, today. Thank you for inviting and, me. Really and, appreciate it. And I, I've, I've known you for a while. Yes, sir. And I appreciate finally catching up with you enough to come in. And do it's, it. it's been great. Right, I appreciate you being right. patient. Thanks. Thank Bye. you.